Next question is from Bad Inkling. What are your opinions on digestive enzyme supplements? Oh, you live. You guys live by these. Yeah, things. you know what's funny. <laughs> so I have to these days. For why, are we, why are we not sponsored? Do any of our sponsors carry? None we're working. We're working with one potentially. So. Oh, are you? Yes. I was just saying. I don't know why we're not because both of you guys use this religiously. Yeah. So digestive enzymes, obviously, these are enzymes that help break down foods. If you, for the most part, it's contagious. Adam. For the most part, you probably <laughs> yeah. don't. Most people don't need them. But in certain cases, they can make a big difference, especially if you're somebody that uh, tends to have gut issues. Here's one. It's not a digestive enzyme, but it has tremendous value, especially for people who tend to have uh, acid reflux or GERD, you know, heartburn, that kind of stuff. Uh, HCL. Mm -hmm. HCL, uh, which I think, was that stand for? Hydrochloric? Hydrochloric, uh, yeah. Look it up. Hydrochloric there. acid. Is, it, is mm -hmm. that what it is? Okay. So this is essentially the acid that is produced in the stomach that helps break things down. Oftentimes when people have acid reflux, it's not because they have too little acid, but excuse me, too much acid. It's rather because they have too little acid. Yeah, the timing's all off. Yeah, so you take HCL right when you eat, especially a high-protein meal, and all of a sudden you find that it tends to solve issues. Also, having low acid levels can contribute to things like SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and other types of issues. So I like HCL for people. And then the digestive enzymes... You know when that helps is when if you notice that if you eat, let's say, more often than not, so where I notice it, somebody will eat a high-fat meal and they'll feel nauseous or a little bloated, um, especially for people who've had their gallbladder removed. Take the fat, the uh, you know, the enzymes that break down fat, so lipase and, and I think that's the main one. Take that with your meals. See if you notice a big difference. I've had clients have a lot of success with those. So I think I've asked this before on the podcast, but I have you explain it again because when I hear it, the digestive enzymes, it reminds me very sim very similar to like a prebiotic. How different are they? Like, what's the main difference between a prebiotic and a digestive enzyme? So prebiotics are things that feed uh, bacteria. bacteria, okay. And then there's probiotics, which are actually bacteria. Enzymes are totally different. Enzymes literally are. Think of it this they, way: they cut back at the the bacteria. Yeah, or. Oh, Instead of feeding the bacteria, if it's, it's the acid. No, not yeah. the bacteria. HCL will do that. That's what I mean yeah. if it's the acid pills. But the enzymes themselves are what are used to break down proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. So, oh, okay. And your your body produces them themselves naturally. But some people produce a l like low amounts of certain ones. So supplementing with enzymes can help. So people who sometimes feel- Can you do that in combination then yes. with a prebiotic? It's not, it's not- No. Okay. No, they don't, conf they don't com uh, conflict with each other okay. at all. Yeah. Now, uh, here's where I see the benefit. If you're really pushing your protein intake and uh, you're noticing that maybe it's affecting your digestion a little bit and you're like, oh man, you know, I, I want to eat this high protein, but my digestion's a little bit off- Try taking digestive enzymes. Well, I've noticed it. So I've, I mean, I, out of the three of us, I pretty much almost never use it, but I have played with it a couple of times because you guys bring it up to the Tahoe house all the time. And I was about, I think it was one night I was going to have ice cream or I was going to have bread or something, something I know that normally mm -hmm. would bother me. And I took one of you guys to see, and I did notice a difference. Like it, it, it I felt like it mitigated the, 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 the bloat yes. and the ups, how my stomach would be upset a little bit afterwards. I felt like it minimized that right in yes, comparison. Yes. Now here's something else that's interesting about some of these uh, enzymes. So bromelain is, can be used as an enzyme to help break down proteins. If you take bromelain on its own on an empty stomach, however, it's anti-inflammatory. Yeah. Very anti-inflammatory. It's very, very remarkable. It does help a lot with swallowing. I've yeah, noticed that. Yes, right. dude. It's like one of the most effective anti-inflammatories I've ever used, but you have to take it on empty stomach. 